Before we begin this review, I need to enjoy my coffee. First, I need some coffee, man. I gotta wake up. Ah, perfect. All right. Idea. 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 Oh, no. You know what? I should brick myself in. Let me brick myself in. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Scott of the Brick Me Up Scotty. So how about that? I bricked myself in this time. So just like the last video, I promised you guys I would do the set. So here it is. I'm doing it right now. Because I know some of you are dying for some new sets. There's no modular buildings. Where have they all gone? But I'm super stoked and super excited that Oxford Block has decided to come out with something that is bigger than some of the last three sets we've reviewed. So, so let's dive right into it. So this is Oxford Block's Idea Coffee. I think that's how you say it. It's part of their town series, ST33348 Coffee Shop. 1,023 pieces from eight to 16 year olds. Yeah, I'm way past that, man. Anyway, first of all, is this a limited edition? I don't think it is. I think it's actually not too difficult to get, but it is a little bit expensive, but they are promoting it as part of their town series. We have some of the other sets here I have not reviewed yet. Post office, hospital, bunch of other stuff. But I wanted to get to this because this is what I like. This is the thing that drives me to build these things super fast and let you guys see it first here. There you go. First of all, very small amount of stickers. So that means they had enough to print tiles. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be available everywhere. I'm not sure how much it's gonna cost you, but we do have it on brickmeupscotty.com, but we can definitely help you get this if you like it. Let's start on the bottom and work our way up. We got a lot to go through. I'm gonna rotate this whole thing for you so you guys can see it. Look at that. It doesn't look steady at all. Yeah, nice and smooth everywhere. The blue is fantastic. It's so different. It's so dark, it's mysterious. Front here is all tiled. There's a little garden here. Now that is one thing I have to nitpick about is that you see it's got a little bit of a warp there. And that is because it is not on one base plate. It's actually on three smaller plates and it's so light here. There's not much you can do to push this down unless you kind of remock this yourself. Maybe put a bigger tree there and it might put some weight down onto it. But right now, uh, yeah, it's kind of popping up here. I'm not sure if using another plate here would help that, but that was my only thing to be like, oh man, they're really, really close. But anyway, you got this really cool looking garden right there. So while we're all staring at this rotating garden, one thing you could do is actually kind of remock this part, I guess. You can turn it into a stall or, you know, make a big street sign or a huge tree. And that'll probably help fix that little flex at the end of that corner. So right here in the corner is a fire hydrant. It's super, super small. And then you got a little back alley here and it's sort of kind of like the other sets, like the Toys R Us game room, all those other sets. They're seeing elements now that are all being combined together. It's really neat. I like the white fence that they have here along the side and along the back here, you got this wall. They use this a lot too in car park. So this could have actually been more like a car park if you wanted to probably easily fit one car there but then you'd have to move like this flower bed out of the way and the seats here but anyway that's really cool that they included that you got a pair of bikes there that are parked you got a bench here the blue stands out compared to everything else it's kind of funny and a no smoking sign so it's actually pretty interesting that they have a no smoking like bin here because minifigures should not be smoking in the first place can you imagine they had a little stick that was like a cigarette yeah that's not good for kids man don't use the sticker and it still looks like a trash can or recycle bin. Underneath the staircase are two arcade machines. They're actually really cool. Now the one on the left is actually really great because it has the joystick and they use studs inside as the items. Maybe that's a claw machine. I'm not quite sure. The one on the right is actually one of those ball machines. You, you turn the crank and the ball comes out, but they put a sticker inside. I think they could have made it a little bit bigger. I think they actually had one in the game room, right? My game room. Just like the one on the left, they could have put like a stud or two in there and it would have been more like three dimensional looking, but it's still very cool that they have that. What's interesting is they have these weird plates here. I've never seen the plates that size. I don't know why they have two there. Then we come to the front over here of the shop itself and you got this little seating outdoor area and I like the colors there. The lamp post is really neat. It's really funny because on the top, it's a coffee cup cover, but they put it on top of the lamp and it looks really good. So on the front there is a sign and that is a sticker, by the way. Look at the detail of that sticker. 
I like how you can actually see the, the foam on the inside. Yeah, it's making the flag of Korea. That's kind of cool. But yeah, that's the one thing I love about Oxford Block stickers is most of the time the quality and the details within the sticker are pretty good. The seats themselves here on the side with the table, the seats are a little bit low. Oxford tends to put the seats a little bit lower than I'd like. I wish they were kind of raised a little bit. I really love the front here, the glass doors and the panels there. It has a nice look that you can see through it. And here on the side too, the staircase does kind of cross into it. But that's kind of cool. I like that look. The sign there on the front, Idea Coffee, is printed. Very nice. The only thing that's kind of a bummer about this print, it's actually spread out on two plates. So, you know, it's not a single plate. But hey, at least it's still printed, right? So it looks pretty good. Now we come to the side here. There's nothing here, it's just windows. You know, and the back too of the actual building itself. Could they have done a little bit more? Possibly. Yay, there's a way for the minifigures to actually go onto the second floor. We'll go into there in a bit, but they got a nice side door there. And I actually really like the construction of this staircase. It's super solid. And even this part here, the rail, how it snaps in, it's not like some other brands that we have seen. It's very, very secure. And now this gets ready to jump on the inside and we can take off this part right here. Look at that. Beautiful, love that, nice. So we can get in there, nice space for your fingers to go in. It's not super, super tight. And look guys, if you look on the inside right there, it's all tiled, yippee. So your minifigures are gonna slide everywhere. It would have been nice if they had a couple of studs, one by twos in there so that you can stand them up in the back of the counter and in the main area here. They have more tables and chairs, exactly the same ones as the one on the outside. I have to mention the tables look really cool because they're being used by like, what are those, drinks? Yeah, they're glasses, that's pretty funny. Now protruding out here from the wall is a light. Now Oxford loves to do this kind of stuff where they have hanging lights and I welcome it. I think it's a great idea. Then we come to the counter there and it looks like they have some snacks in the windows. But unlike the other set, there are no stickers that go on top. So there you go. That's what it looks like with no stickers. It looks kind of plain, right? So now you're like, Maybe it should have came with stickers, or you like it like that without the stickers. And you got this checkered orange and blue thing there. I guess that's supposed to be in the menu or design. I'm not sure if the Idea Coffee has something like that in there, or if that's like a trademark poster design look. I don't know. But if you look on the back side, there is a cashier register there, and they like to do their stickers. And thank you for making the cash register look different for each set. For Oxford, that's one thing I really do like. They don't use this Windows 95 looking printed that you see on other sets. So that's really cool. Nice detail on there. Then we come to the back wall. Those are more empty drawers down below. There's nothing in them. And look, they have double of all the coffee machines. So those are the same ones that we saw in the Krispy Kreme. But you have some extra cups and mugs there. Okay, I just noticed some studs there and I just forgot to put the coffee mugs back because I actually had the minifigures holding them. So I'm gonna place them back here, like that, and like that. I'm gonna pull the camera back here and adjust the focus here a little bit. So there, now you can see the counter with the four mugs on there. Whoops, sorry, I forgot to put them back, but there you go. And I'm not quite sure what the light blue and the orange cone pieces are supposed to represent, shakers or something. Now look at the sign on the back. Those are all printed, nice detail. I really like it, some espresso, Cafe Americano, latte, cappuccino, cafe mocha, some milk beverages in the middle there, chocolate green tea latte, toffee nut latte, mint chocolate, is your stomach growling, brewed coffee, nitro coffee, cold brew, oh, I love cold brew, man. I had to switch coffees, you know, lifestyle change. I could sure use one at this moment. And below the sign, there are two blenders down here. I guess that's more chocolate shakes or coffee. You getting thirsty? Cause I am. You know, I almost missed this part. Right here, tucked away in the very corner, is a small fire extinguisher. Guess they tried to use all the space they could. But there you guys go, that's the inside there. Very comfortable to put all the figures inside, and it looks great. And then we come to the second floor. Okay, we'll slide this to the side. Put this right here, so you can see that, yeah. Oh, I like this look, and the design is so sophisticated looking. Now, funny enough is this rooftop is using two plates, and then you got the plate here underneath. When you see the plates, when you first get this box, they're actually kind of bent, they're kind of flexed. I'm like, oh no, they're gonna be bent. But there's enough support going on them and the rooftop uses two, it straightens them all out. So if you do buy it from another place, don't freak out because they're gonna look kind of bent until they put it together. But yes, this can come off. And I really love the thickness of this rooftop. That's a great idea, it's like doubled up. So the second floor is very minimal, but what I like is this piece. I'll take it off for you guys. Yeah, 
It looks like a chocolate bar. It is printed. There's all these coffee cups on there, but what a cool design. What a nice look to it. So it goes on the back wall, and if you can see there, it comes with an extra nice long sofa. So I love the fact that they really did put a long sofa here, but it's more brick built, like kind of to the ground. So you can't really just pull it off. It's not a one piece thing, but hey, it's still a great idea. Everything is tiled on the floor. The balcony is also tiled. And I like that it even has a balcony. Both doors open just fine. And on the side here, you do have a printing there. Idea Espresso Coffee, I guess that's the main logo. And that's kind of cool how they used the fence there as a design. They just stick it on the studs. It looks great to me. I like the black railings here. So for once they're going super like dark tone with the set and I like that. It's very different from like all the Krispy Kreme, Dunkin' Donuts, all that kind of stuff that we've been seeing. That's the iconic Oxford block tree there in the flower pot and more chairs. Again, the chairs here are low and the sofa too. I kind of wish those were raised up higher. And that is it, man. That's the second floor for you. Super solid. Then we come to the final bit piece here. You can slot this back in. You gotta kind of push down on there and make sure it sits firmly. The rooftop. So the rooftop has four lights here. You know, I think maybe I didn't put the lights on in the right area, but they fit fine there. And you got the coffee mug and that is a sticker there. I kind of wish it was more brick built. You know, I love these kind of 3D pop out things. The handle is, so it's kind of sucks that it's separate from there. And like I said, this is just like a separate piece that goes on, it's a cylinder piece. And I wish it was as one. You see a little bit of coffee there. Maybe I misaligned that sticker, I'm not sure. But it sits on the edge here. And you saw me earlier push down here. Don't push down there. This is an awesome set. I love it. It's small enough. If you're not sure if you want to get into Oxford and you want to get something a little bit smaller, but a little bit more cleaner looking, minimalistic, that looks kind of nice. Or maybe you don't like it. It's not too colorful. Some of you other brands can learn for this, man. It's actually really cool. And of course, we're going to do a drop test on this. I think some small stuff will fall off. I will chop this thing in five, four, three, two, one. Oh. One. Oh. One. Oh. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. The rooftop came off because the rooftop is thick and it will fly off because it is not balanced. As I showed you before, push down here and fall off quite easily. But that wasn't too bad. Cup handle came off and one bike came off the thing. Surprisingly, the other one stayed in. Oh no, the flowers came off. I'll take this off to see if anything else fell down on the inside. Nope, everything's still good on there. Take this one up. Nope, everything is fine. It's really fine on the... Oh, now it fell off because I tilted it. Okay, so the coffee machine one came down. There you go. It's all together. And of course, it does come with a bunch of minifigures. Shall we check them out? All right, you guys. So there's six minifigures that come with the set. So rather than name them, I'm going to go through them pretty quickly. But if you'd like your name to be mentioned, please put it in the comment down below. And if you're a male or female, just put an M or an F so I know so that you can be in the next video, all right? So let's check them out. So first we have the female employee. She's blushing. She looks just fine. Printing's a little bit funny on the face. It's kind of like it's smeared, yeah? I'm so happy to say that is a print on her apron, finally. But there's nothing printed underneath the apron, just a plain white shirt, but she has a cap on. But I like it because of that print on the apron. And then we had the male employees exactly the same. Now this dude's apron is actually smeared. I can see it on the camera on the close up here. But with my own naked eyes in person, I actually couldn't really tell, man. It looks fine. It's, you can barely, barely see it. But man, it's either I get a smear or I get a sticker that looks really bad. Which do you guys prefer? And then we got this guy. Maybe he's the boss man. He's wearing a business suit or he's just enjoying his coffee. Who knows? He looks like he's from The Last Supper. Remember that shit? <laughs> yeah. One of Jesus' disciples. His beard looks pretty funny. His shirt printing, it's okay. It's nothing really special. It looks kind of like it's drawn on there, but at least it's a print. So there you go. He's either going to run this joint or he's just going inside to enjoy some coffee. We have this female who's the customer. And I don't know if I like the color of her pants. Did I get her pants color wrong? Probably. You know, I'm always switching these things up by mistake. Her printing on her face looks totally fine. I like the eyes. And she's wearing this jumper the suit. It's a bit old fashioned style. That's what it is. She looks a bit old fashioned. Other than that, she looks totally fine. Which comes to the next female who looks even more plain. She looks kind of pastel color, but I like how it's pink on the top and blue on the bottom. Face looks fine. Eyes look really pretty. Hairstyle is pretty cool. But again, she looks very plain, very simple. And she's probably going to enjoy her hot chocolate. And then we come to the last guy here. 
Maybe he's the boss. I'm not sure, but he looks very jolly. Look at this guy's eye. He looks like he got punched in the face. That's a hilarious misprint, but hey, I like it. That makes up for the whole outfit because that green, oh man, I don't know what this guy's doing wearing the green, but there he is. And of course he's going in to go lie down on that sofa and go to sleep. Meow, 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 meow. All right, you guys, it's dimension times again, so break out your 32 by 32 base plate. I'm gonna slide this back a little bit there to get a better idea. I'm gonna line this up right here, and look at that, it's just under a 32 by 32, and that is 30 studs by length. And now, let's check the width. Here we go. Oh, that poor bendy base plate. Look at that. But anyway, that is 24 studs by width. So this thing will actually fit on the base plate. Let's put it on the base plate. Here, push this back here, like so. You can add more little extra things on there. Now let's check the height. So break out your one by four bricks and stack them here. I'm gonna do it directly from the plate to the coffee mug there. And it's just kind of touching it right there. That is. 24 studs in height. So there you go. You know, you can take the cup off if you want to make it a little bit shorter. Put it on the floor, maybe. So for those of you that order from our site, breakmeupscotty.com, you know we really can't ship out with the boxes. It saves a lot on shipping. If you do want it, you know that we can send it, but it costs quite a lot. But anyway, I thought I'd show you guys the box. This is my new thing now. I'm gonna show you the box if I have it with the set. What a nice box and a nice size. And what's really cool is on the back here, it actually shows Printed tiles, they're emphasizing on that. So I really hope that Oxford can do more of that in the future or make their sets a little bit more affordable. All right, you guys, so there you go. That's Oxford Blocks Edia Coffee Shop. It's available on brickmeupscotty.com. It's awesome. Get it if you can or buy anywhere else that you see fit for you or not if you don't like it. I like it, I love it, yeah. And I gotta go out and find Deer. He's somewhere, man. I gotta bring him back for the next video. So until next time, you guys, pick me out. Blub, 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 Wow, I can stare at this all day, you know? And be like, oh, how awesome. How awesome is that? It does look like this part will collect a lot of dust in the future, though. I can see that just being covered up in gunk and bugs living in there. Blah! Would you like some coffee? I have to hold it like this down be like... I cannot believe Big Scotty did not put me in this video again! Dang it. Well, that's okay. I get to play some games here. Come on. Come on. I know I can win something. Oh, man, I just missed. I'll get you next time, you red stud. Hmm, where's little Scotty? I haven't seen him either. Oh, man, I'm being left out of everything. Hey, lady, have you seen little Scotty? No, I haven't. But he might be getting some coffee. You should try it. It's really good. Yeah, maybe you're right. Let's just relax. I'll see if he's inside. I could show you some chocolate. Have you heard of this guy named Scotty? I can't believe he does other brick brands. He has a YouTube channel out there called Brick Me Up Scotty. I know, right? I'm an asshole fan. How dare he does other brands? He should be banned. Can I just hear what those guys are saying? Are they talking about my Scotty? They're lucky I'm in a good mood. I just need some chocolate to calm myself down. Hi, welcome to Idiot Coffee. How can I help you today? Would you like some cold brew? Latte? Anything? Some cake? Cookies? Uh, actually, I'm looking for my friend. His name is Scotty. Have you seen him? No, I haven't. But you can check upstairs. There's one guy up there. Oh, great! Uh, in that case, I want a super size grande chocolate, please. All right, you got it. Coming right up. Oh man, the staircase is so steep! How the heck is he supposed to walk up those things? Scotty, you better be in here! Here you go, sir. Enjoy your coffee! Thank you very much! That ain't Scotty! There's nobody up here! You know what? I'm gonna enjoy my chocolate drink and just wait for him. That sofa sure does look good, though. I'm getting nice and cozy now. You know what? I think I'm gonna take a nap on there. I'm trying to enjoy my coffee here. That frickin' thing is snoring so loud. Dear, dear, where are you, man? 
Where'd he go now? Can't believe he went on the wrong set. Oh, hey, check that out. Is that a claw machine? Oh, I see you, Red Stud. You're all mine. I know I can get you. Come on. Come on. Yes! Yeah, easy peasy. Man, can't believe I got this. Now, where's Deer? Hey, wake up, fool. You're snoring like a pig. Huh? What? Scotty, there you are. Man, I've been looking all over for you. Where have you been? And that is where I have been. So come on, man. We gotta go check out this other place. I don't know why you ended up over here. I don't know either. But I still can't believe you won that thing. I've been trying to win that thing forever. It's all good, man. I'll give it to you. Really? Oh, thank you. But come on. Let's go. All right, you guys. We gotta get out of here because we gotta go to the other set that I'm working on right now. Because check out my outfit. Doesn't my outfit look awesome? All right, Scotty. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. See you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye now. See ya!